What's going on guys? This is Burrs. I want to talk to you today about the Bob Destrudis bow saw. This is a 24 inch version, but they make a few different sizes. One a little bit smaller, one a little bit larger. Uh, I believe it's 21 inches and close to 30 inches. I went with the 24 inch version because it was in between those two sizes. And as far as backpacking goes, you know, something that's two ruler lengths and folds down really thin like this one does, um, or the saw does, it really isn't that much to put it on the side of a pack and go. So I went with the 24 inch version because that's in between the two, obviously. It's only two ruler lengths long and it packs up real small. I just throw it on the side of my pack, as you can see. You're looking at about an inch, uh, maybe about an inch and a half at the most as far as the width goes there. And then on this side, you're looking about two inches. Um, and like I said, two, two ruler lengths long, 24 inches. Uh, for this saw. Now when you look at other saws in the market, you have the Sven saw, you have the Saw Viver, you have a Baco Laplander, which I reviewed in the past, and they're all great, and maybe just for a you know, overnighter or something, but I like to not expend a ton of energy when I'm out in the woods, um, so taking something with a little more capability, or a lot more capability, um, is what you know you got here with the Bob Destrudis. These are very popular uh, towards the middle of our uh, country there, and you know Minnesota is where you know I think this actually you know came to be loved and used all over by people, probably because it's simple to use. Uh, I've had no problems with using it for uh, I don't know maybe two years now. So let's take a closer look at this now. This is made of an aluminum extrusion material, so it's lightweight. See, so you got some dirt on there. I got some uh, abrasion here. But with being aluminum, it's not gonna rust on you. And I haven't seen that in the wet and snowy conditions I've had this in. Um, I haven't seen anything in regard to that. So what happens here? Well, the cool thing is on the end here is really show you how to put it together. And honestly, it's real simple. As far as taking it apart and all that, all you do is you pull up on the uh, saw here. Now get the blade out of the way. Pull up on this side. When you get to a certain point, you just wanna pull out the blade kind of keep it contained here like so and you're going to want to fold these down on the sides and then all you do is you take your saw so then what you do is on the sides here you can see this slot and on the end of this uh, saw blade what you'll see is just a nut and uh, that's what's going to fit inside of there so we're going to go ahead slide that in here you come over to the other side you slide it in there like so and then you like cam action put it together boom you got your saw now i've cut some pretty deep wood with this 24 inch version and you can see that the thickness of the wood that you can get in between here is almost seven inches so a good six inch maybe six and a half inch at the most as far as the width or the diameter of the log is what you can do which is great because like I said, when you have designs that are like this, you're really cutting only about a you know four inch and under diameter tree log. So this gives you that ability to you know really cut some good deep uh, you know thick wood. The other cool thing is you don't need any special blades. This is just a regular bow saw blade. If you go out and buy some other ones like I just did, just to kind of demonstrate for this video, I bought some Baco 24 inch uh, saws or saw blades. One's uh, for green wood, one's for dry. And, um, you know, I can just put these right on here and go. So as far as longevity goes and not having to buy proprietary blades, this is great. The really cool thing is this doesn't weigh really anything. It's pretty weightless because you're using extruded aluminum, as you can see here. And uh, there's really nothing to a, a you know, a, uh, you know, there's really nothing to a bow saw blade. And, um, you know, so that's really lightweight. And uh, the handle here, which is made of wood, is really the only thing that weighs anything. And uh, it itself is relatively lightweight. Now, some people will say that uh, your hand's going to hurt because it's uh, an angle. It's a very 90 degree angle. And I can attest to the fact that if you're sawing a bunch of stuff over the course of uh, a day, that your hand can kind of get tired of, of uh, you know, using this. But if you use gloves, I haven't seen any problems with myself using gloves. Uh, just throw a pair of gloves and it really cuts down on, on that uh, issue. It's around $50. It's made by Bob, who is, I believe, in his 80s still. So <laughs> if you're looking to get one, uh, you might want to get one soon. So you can see here, as far as the blade being tensioned, the blade's not moving or anything like that. On the end here, you can see how that, that nut is holding that in place on the, on the other side. So if you're just going to change out a blade, all you do is you take that nut off of this side, 
you uh, take that off this side, put a new blade on, doot doot, done. So you got a multi-tool with you, so uh, that'll make quick work of just changing the blade out if you're carrying extra blades with you. And these blades from Baco, I think were around 10 bucks. So, uh, you know, just getting a replacement blade, um, you know, just to have around isn't uh, very expensive. I had this in my Christmas list as far as manly uh, Christmas gifts, and uh, I had a lot of good feedback. Some people actually uh, emailed me or sent me messages and said, hey, you know, uh, my wife or my friend or whatever got me one of these, and, uh, you know, I used it, and I really like it a lot. So, and uh, my buddy Nate Murr, when we go on backpacking trips, you know, he uses this, and he likes it a lot. So I really haven't come across anyone who doesn't like this saw. Uh, the only thing I've heard from a few people is the profile right here. But honestly, like I said, you throw some gloves on, you're good to go. You can get these saws at a number of places, uh, Four Dog Stove, um, you know, Duluth Trading, a lot of different places sell them. So whatever the best price you can find is where I would go. They also make a Cordura sheath that in its folded up manner you can uh, put it inside of there. And uh, you know, obviously it's a little bit more. But to break it down, all you do is you take your finger here, pull down to let the tension off. You take the blade out, you take the blade out of this side, and you're gonna fold this back up. Let me put this off to the side here. You fold this back up to where you have it the opposite way. And then what you do is you take this blade, you lay it into the uh, handle there. You put it blade side down against the extruded aluminum. Put it in here. And what you'll see is, when this comes down, there's a little hole right here, and that's where you want to put that, uh, that nut right there, or that screw. I mean, it's pushed down, and it's back to uh, its regular shape, as far as being packed in. So if you guys are looking for one of the better survival saws out there for a bug out bag, backpacking, just to throw in your truck in case of emergency, you know, whatever you're looking to do with the saw, it's definitely gonna do it. Um, like I said, I use this for over a year now. Many different trips, summertime, wintertime, never had a problem with it. Um, it's just an overall great design, made in America. And uh, you know, I can't really say anything negative about this because it's really been one of my favorite things in my kit. So if you guys have any questions or anything, go ahead and let me know. If you guys have a uh, Bob the Street saw, go ahead and put it in the comments down below, or better yet, make a video about it. Until next time, later.